Welcome to Age Fit with Tess. My name is Tess, physiotherapist. By the end of this video, you're going to know how to complete a routine to reduce stiffness and pain related to cervical spondylosis. Before doing these exercises, make sure that you have an accurate diagnosis as some of these movements can be contraindicated for some conditions. Make sure to join the Age Fit with Tess Facebook group to get further support with staying fit and active. Let's get started. The first two exercises of this routine are to get the muscles around our neck moving. Our first exercise is our shoulder shrugs. Raise your shoulders as high as you can and lower back down. Repeat. Raise your shoulders as high as you can and lower back down. Our second exercise is our butterflies or sticker muscles. Again, this exercise helps to get the muscles in our necks, shoulders and backs moving. With your palms facing forward, bring your hands up over your head. Keep your elbows slightly bent if it's more comfortable. Aim to keep your elbows pointing away from you rather than forwards and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Again, reaching up over your head and back down. Now we are going to complete our range of motion exercises. These are helpful for improving movement through our cervical spine. We're going to repeat these exercises six times. Our first range of motion exercise is our cervical spine flexion and extension. When doing this exercise, be careful if you experience dizziness or sharp pain. Start by looking down to your toes, hold, and look up toward the sky. Repeat. Look down to your toes, hold, and back up to the sky. From our side angle, we can see the movement we are trying to achieve. When doing this exercise, you may feel a slight stretch through the front and back of your neck. If you do not do this exercise regularly, you may be more comfortable starting out with half or three quarter range of motion. Our second range of motion exercise is our lateral flexion. Facing forwards, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Hold and repeat to your left. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Aim to keep your shoulders down rather than lifting or hitching up. You should feel a stretch down the side of your neck. Again, if you don't do this exercise regularly, you may be more comfortable starting off with half or three quarter range of motion. And repeat, bring your head to the right, hold, and come back to the left. Bring your head to the right, hold, and come back to the left. One more time, bring your head to the right, pause, and bring your head to the left. Our third range of motion exercise is our cervical spine rotation. Again, be careful if you experience dizziness and only go as far as comfortable. This time, turn to look over your left shoulder and repeat to look over your right shoulder. As you look over your shoulder, use your eyes to guide you as you pretend you're turning your head in a full circle. Again, turn to look over your left shoulder, pause and turn to look over your right shoulder. Turn to look over your left shoulder, pause, and turn to look over your right shoulder. One more time. Turn to look over your left shoulder, pause, and turn to look over your right shoulder. Our last round of exercises are our strength exercises. These help to build the strength in the muscles surrounding our neck, in turn, proving the support for our neck joints which is where the pathology typically occurs in spondylosis. We're going to complete four reps of these exercises. Our first strength exercise is our chin tuck. Chin tucks are an important postural strengthening exercise, particularly for those who work looking down or at a computer. Look forward and up, use your fingers to guide your chin back with the aim of giving yourself a double chin. Hold and relax. Repeat again, looking forward and up. Use your fingers to guide your chin back and give yourself a double chin. 
Our second strength exercise is a progression of our chin tuck. This time we're going to repeat our chin tuck but against resistance. Place one hand at the back of your head. This hand is going to provide the resistance. Place the other hand on your chin to guide your head. Repeat your chin tuck while using the hand at the back of your head to provide resistance. Hold and repeat. You can make this exercise easier to count by switching hands each time you repeat. Press your head into your right hand, pause and repeat, pressing your head into your left hand. Our third strength exercise is our isometric lateral flexion. This time, place your hand again at the side of your head. Push your head against your hands as if you are trying to bring your ear to your shoulder and repeat to the other side. We are going to repeat this exercise a total of four times each side. Push your head against your right hand as if you are trying to bring your ear to your shoulder. Hold and repeat to the left. Push your head against your left hand as if you are trying to bring your ear to your shoulder. You should feel this exercise with the muscles along the side of your neck. Push your head against your right hand as if you are trying to bring your ear to your shoulder. Hold and repeat to the left. Push your head against your left hand as if you are trying to bring your ear to your shoulder. Last time, push your head against your right hand and hold. Repeat to the left. Push your head against your left hand. Our fourth strength exercise is isometric cervical flexion and extension. With one hand at the front of your head to provide resistance, push your head against your hand as if you are trying to look toward the ground. Use your other hand to provide the resistance at the back of your head. Push your head against your hand as if you are trying to look toward the sky. Repeat a total of four times. Push forward against your hand as if you are trying to look toward the ground. Hold. Now push against your opposite hand if you are trying to look toward the sky. Again, these exercises help to strengthen the muscles that support your neck joints with the aim of taking some of the strain off the joints. Push forward against your hand as if you are trying to look toward the ground. Now push against your opposite hand as if you are trying to look toward the sky. One last time, push your head against your hand as if you are trying to look toward the ground. Push your head back against your hand as if you are trying to look toward the sky. Our fifth strength exercise is our isometric rotation. Keeping your hand at the side of your head, push your head against your hand, but this time while aiming to turn your head to look behind you. Again, we're gonna repeat four times to each side. Push against your right hand as if you're trying to look behind you. Pause. Now push against your left hand as if you're trying to look behind you. In this video, we are covering cervical spondylosis exercises. For thoracic and lumbar spondylosis videos, make sure to check out the linked videos. One last time, push against your right hand as if you're trying to look behind you. Pause, push against your left hand, again as if you're trying to look behind your head. After completing our strength exercises, we're going to loosen up our shoulders with shoulder rolls. Remember, join the Age Fit With Test Facebook group to get further support with staying fit and active. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for the next video where I'm going to show you bed exercises for hip, knee and ankle pain. To continue to stay fit and active in the meantime, watch these two videos right here. See you next time.